Hi guys, it's Dr. Dawn, your board certified OBGYN here. Happy New Year! We're here in 2017. I am excited to be here. I'm excited for the new year. We have another chance to create the person that we want to create, and that's that's exciting. Some people are like, oh, we got to make New Year's resolutions. They're not New Year's resolutions. They're daily resolutions that we're going to work towards every day. So I am excited to be here. Um, again, it's Dr. Dawn, your board certified OBGYN. I am here to help you optimize your personal health because I think that's important, not just for women, but for the people that love them. So thank you for joining me. Again, we are here um, on uh, another segment of conversations on contraception. And I, I, it's dear, near and dear to my heart. I think it's important. It's important for women and for men. Uh, a lot of ladies are like, okay, I like your talk. Why are you including guys on the talk? But they're, it's important. If you are having a baby, it's impacting the man and the woman, correct? So these are conversations we need to have amongst ourselves with the people we're in relationships with before things start happening, right? <laughs> So we need to talk to each other. Women need to talk to men. Men need to talk to women. Hopefully you'll be able to use these videos that I have here to talk about the different options that we have. There are lots of different options. And sometimes the guys are there to remind the ladies, hey, remember you had that side effect on that one? Or remember you didn't do too well on that one? So the men are just so important when we talk about conversation as the women. So I, I'm thankful that we have men and women here for the conversation. So we're going to get started. So I talked about a lot of different contraception options um, throughout my talks. I'm going to end up with tried and true talks that, I mean, contraception options. And then by the end of the week, probably Friday, I will have another talk that's going to really kind of overview everything. So hopefully, uh, if you don't catch the one today, definitely try to do the one with me on Friday because I'm going to go through everything I talked about, give you the high points, side effects, and things like that. So uh, I see some of my friends are here. My brother's here. A good friend, Renee's here. Hi, guys. Spread the word. Let them know that we're on board talking about having conversations on contraception. So the main one I want to talk about today is the male condom. It's oldie but goodie. We all know about it. Um, sometimes we don't talk about it with contraception, but it is something we should talk about contraception because if we use it correctly, it could be very effective. It could be up to 85, 89% effective when used correctly. But, uh, like I said, you need to use it correctly. <laughs> and um, when I say correctly, that means you have to place it correctly. You have to use it every time because when you don't use it correctly, that's why we get those problems that we don't have with the condoms. Maybe it ruptures or intercourse and maybe we don't have it where we placed it. So when you're using a condom, it's important to use it and place it over an erect penis. And you have to use it with each act of intercourse. When you're placing it on the penis, you have to grab it at the top. Make sure there's a little space between the top and the penis. Because when the guy ejaculates, he has to have a place for that semen to go. If there's no space, then you really increase your chances of that condom rupturing. And it decreases the purpose of A, contraception. And just as importantly, condoms are really important with helping prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, those are all still out there, guys. We really have been talking about and focusing on HIV, which is important, but... You can't get rid of the herpes. That stays with you. <laughs> and chlamydia and gonorrhea, unfortunately, you can pick those up and not know you have it. So let's say you have multiple partners. That's what we talk about, the spread, because you're passing along these infections because you don't know you have it because you may or may not have symptoms. So condoms are important, not just for birth control, but for helping us stop that spread of sexually transmitted infections. And I'm specifically talking about gonorrhea, herpes, chlamydia, genital warts, HIV. So anytime there's a spread of, you know, bodily fluids, you can have that. So like I said, you can put that condom on, 
You're going to have some space in between, roll it down. You're going to have your fun. Then you're going to remove it and throw it away. All right? Sometimes we'll tell people to tie it in a knot. I know this is kind of detailed, but I'm a doc, so I look at the details. Tie it in a knot, throw it in a garbage can, or throw it somewhere so that, you know, it's not necessarily used for other things. We'll just leave it at that. So um, that's the male condom. They actually have a female condom. If you can believe it, I guess they didn't think that females had enough contraception options, so they figured they'd give us one more. <laughs> so they have the female condom. Um, it hasn't really taken off that much, but it is effective. So the female condom is basically like a sheath, and it's a, a, a tube. It can be made of the same materials that the uh, condoms are made of, which is usually latex or something like that. It has a ring at the top of it, and you place that ring in all the way to the top, and then it has an opening at the end. And um, that's where if you're going to have receptive, receptive intercourse, you're going to have it that way. So um, it hasn't taken off that that much but it's still out there so I wanted to be complete in terms of what I talked to you all about now the other thing I wanted to talk to you all about just because this does come up is let's say we we made best made plans we've tried different things we whatever we're on the pill or we're on the ring or something happens we're having a condom and the condom's not working and so we really have a fear that we can be pregnant even though we prepared ourselves as much as we could for it. There are things out there called emergency contraceptions, and I think that we should know about those. Um, the brand name is, is called Plan B, but they have multiple uh, new ones that are out that do the same thing. Um, we talk about emergency uh, contraception. We're usually talking about one pill. It consists of progesterone, and it's a large dose. And so it prevents that um, egg from ovulating if it hasn't done that already. The key about this, a um, couple of things you need to know about this birth control. One, it's available without a prescription at your pharmacy. But you need to call the pharmacy to see whether they carry it. Uh, some pharmacies opt not to carry it for different religious regions, and so you want to make sure before you make that trip that you call and make sure that they even carry it. The uh, other thing is you have to make sure you time it correctly for it to be effective. If you use it within three days, it's up to 99, 90 to 95% um, chance that it will prevent pregnancy. So that's pretty effective. You can stretch it out to five days, but I tell my ladies and, and my guys, really want to focus on getting it within that first 72 hours, which is three days from the act that you're worried about. If you stretch it out to five days, it goes, effectiveness goes down to maybe 80, 85%. But that's still better than nothing, so you, you can try that. But the emergency contraceptive pill uh, is out there. It's the same one as uh, Plan B, but it could be under a different name. Now, if you don't um, have access to a pharmacy for whatever reasons or you're not able to get it, you can use regular birth control pills and do that. And I'm going to pull out this website that you can go to because typically you're going to use... Four to five of the pills, if you're on the birth control pills, you're going to use four to five of them depending on what brand you're on. And so if you go to www.nottoolate.com, www.not2-late.com, you can look up whatever birth control you're on, and it will tell you how many of the active pills you need to take to, for them to work as emergency contraception. So I, I thought that in my research that I've done, I thought that was really cool because of, I will know, but you may not be able to talk to your doctor or you may kind of feel embarrassed. So you can go to that website and find it on your own, and you're able to take four or five of those pills, and it'll work as emergency contraceptive contraception. So um, the other thing I would say, if you have an, an oops, definitely get in to see your doc, get uh, checked for sexually transmitted infections so that you are um, able to be treated effectively and, and quickly. So again, uh, it's Dr. Dawn, your board certified OBGYN. Hey, Dr. Jerisa, I see you coming on. Dr. Williams is on. My cousin, Simone, Cynthia, again, 
Sora, Tamika, I'm so happy you guys have joined me. Um, I'm going to be doing these talks in the future. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram, Dr. Dawn, OBGYN, and that's Dawn with an E. Twitter, again, Dr. Dawn with an E, OBGYN. And also um, Facebook, of course, you're here, but I have a page, Dr. Dawn OBGYN. Um, your board certified OBGYN. I'm here to help you optimize your uh, personal health. We are going to continue. Hey, Sora Shower, we're going to continue with these talks. We are going to have the final one that's going to kind of overview all of the options that we have. And um, I'll present them, you know, give you the side effects and give you the, uh, you know, with you, whatever your situation is, you can give me questions and we'll talk about what the best option is. But I thank you guys again for joining me, Dr. Don OBGYN. Share this this post with you when you can. I've had several people reach out to me, and it was helpful helpful to them. So that is my purpose to to make sure that we arm each other with the information we need out there in the world today. So I'm going to end this post again. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining me. And I will send posts out again when we have our final talk on the conversations on contraception, which is going to be Friday. I haven't pinpointed the time yet, but it's coming soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good day.